Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I'm up at the vehicle shop and I have 30 euros left, but we do own a brand shiny new Kramer front loader, our very own, and I've got a bucket to go with it. We had, when we did, when I finished up that mission from the end of yesterday's episode, I had 61,430 uh, 61, euros and we needed 61,400. So we have that, but anyway, before I get into that one, my question for this week is I need to make some extra money. Do you want me to make my extra money by doing a little bit of forestry and um, all we're going to use is a chainsaw and a stump grinder just so we can keep the stumps tidy as we go and the trailer, we'll chuck logs into the trailer and then we'll go and tip them at the lumberyard or we will do some silage and um, put the front mounted mower on, we'll put the Pottinger forage wagon on the back and we will mow some of the grass verges in that around and we will take the grass to the biogas plant, make silage there and sell the silage. Um, one of, we'll use one of those in order to make a bit of money for this map because quite frankly we're going to need another way of making money. So it's your vote, it's your game, head to the comment section down below and let me know which one you want, silage or forestry. Um, I'm going to do this because I am going to do my absolute utmost to make sure... Just start this one up. Sounds nice and quiet. Looks good. Let's take a look inside the cab. Yeah, I'm going to do this because quite a few people have been saying they would prefer me not to keep leasing all the machinery. They would like me to buy the machinery instead. And yes, I did originally think that this was articulated, but obviously it's not. It's four-wheel steer. And... The loader works just fine with my joystick. Excellent. Slow. There we go. Right. Let's drive this one back down to the cows and we can give them a little bit of silage. It does look like a long way out in front of you, doesn't it? That, that's, kind of, that's kind of weird looking as you're driving along. I'm sure we'll get used to it. Um, so, yes, I do need to make the money, but we'll, we'll sort of concentrate on that next week. Today I'm going to tidy up the cows and I'm going to give them their silage and I'm going to tidy up the pigs because they've got food all over the place in front of the pigs, um, in front of their sty and if we just take a quick look while we're driving along and stop on the map yes I know it's not a very good way to do it but we'll go with it uh, vehicle overview, finances here we go, so cows are 25% productivity they are 0% uh, cleanliness Okay, so we need to change that. We need to increase their cleanliness. I'm not sure if you get a penalty for being clean or not. But there, well, we're on 69% productivity and those are on 25%. And it doesn't sort of break down the percentage. They need silage and hay, which is 50%, and then the power food, which is mixed ration, which we don't have yet. So we could have a look at doing some hay for the cows soon. We also need some root crops for the pigs, and they don't have any canola, sunflowers, or soybeans. I didn't realize we didn't have any of those in. Okay, so we will take some of that up for the pigs as well. We can tow a trailer on this one. We can put a trailer on, so we could sort of kill two birds with one stone. Take the trailer off the Zeta, put it onto this one. Ooh, I'm sorry, I should have my beacon on. Um, tow it up to the pigs so that we can give them that canola that's left, because we sold the sunflowers and we sold the soybeans. It's quite a nippy little machine, actually. At 41 kilometers an hour, we're not doing too bad. So anyway, we're, the first thing that we're going to do, though, is we are going to put some of that silage that we've made in for the cows um, and just sort of see how that goes, because I don't know if you unsheet the silage just at either end or if you've got to just do the bit in the middle. I'm not, I'm not really sure how silage works, to be honest, just yet. We've sort of we've puzzled our way through making it, and it was a little bit of a, a disaster to start with because we had that, those issues. Um, right, if I... Right, that's down to the ground there. Right, that's that's about the low point. Okay, let's just try and do this in cab if we can. Oh, and now it just automatically unsheets all of it. So if I go into it there, right, that's. See, I I couldn't get it a hundred percent full on the on the other map either. It just doesn't seem to like going a hundred percent full with a loader. Uh, going across the grass here, that's fine. We we'll, we can do that. Let's come in here. I'll turn my beacon off, actually. And now, I want to see... So we've got 1857 in the bucket. Let me just go forward. It shouldn't 
chuck anything out anywhere else. It should just chuck it straight into the trough if it's going in there, or if it's missing, it should go onto the floor. So let's take a look now at our information screen. That is very low, but it's gone up a little bit. And so now we need to we need to wait, obviously, for the map to do like its little bit of update um, thingy. No, I don't want to go back too far. I don't want to back out onto the road. We're going to get a, another bucket. So we don't have... It's not the biggest bucket in the world, this one. But it's not too bad. It's, it's going to keep us going, isn't it? Um, There we go. I think this machine is actually going to serve us... Well, yes, exactly 1857. It won't go to a full 100%. And I don't know why that is. Has anyone else had this, you know, sort of seen this? Do, they, do, do any of you know why it's not giving us 100% on the bucket? Is, is there a particular reason? Um, is, is it just something that the game does now? You only go to about 99% so you don't quite get everything in there? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there must be some reason. Oh, I'll tell you what, we haven't looked. How long a boom have we got? How long do we get on it? Well, it's not, it's not, not the biggest boom, is it? It's enough, though. It's enough. That'll, that'll just sort of... It can keep us going. Um, although, when we come to trying to sell silage at the biogas, if if we do silage at the biogas plant, and that's what everybody wants me to do, um, I think it's going to take a while to spoon the silage from one side to the other, out of the clamp and into the, um, into the thingy. The, um, what is it? Oh, the anaerobic digester. That's the one that I'm looking for. Right, I'm going to do this one sideways on so that we can just take a look at the machine as it's in full operation. Come around there. I keep expecting this one to bend in the middle. It's sort of almost surprising at the moment because I was driving that JCB around in uh, the high... Oop, don't need to do that. In higher hills, uh, I sort of got used to it bending in the middle. back out of here and very soon we will hitch on that trailer that's currently on the Zeta. We'll uh, take it off the Zeta, put it onto this one, we'll load up um, canola and we'll take that with us, we'll go up there, we can clean up their trough area in front of the, the feeding zone. Right, lower down, it won't do, yeah see 185 it stops, it's, it's 1860 I think for maximum in the bucket and it won't go quite to the maximum so I have no idea why it's doing that but I noticed that it was it was on the JCB skid steer actually um, for the time lapse I noticed that I wasn't able to get a hundred percent on the bucket anytime so oop, I wish it wouldn't do that it kind of lets you get so far forward and then sort of launches you up into the air is that the curbs seem to be a little bit peculiar in here we noticed that yesterday when we we're driving around with the trailer didn't we it was um, kind of doing odd freaky things to us now uh, cleanliness where do we clean the cattle because they're still on 0% cleanliness they're on 65% productivity now so that's gone up that's good we're about halfway full on the silage 7,000 on there so let's go and get uh, another bucket full and we'll put that in and then I think we not I think we need to drive to the trough outside there's a little bit of grass there on its own you just lower that down there there a little bit down the side scoop that up there that's the thing with this tip anywhere is you've actually got to scrape down the edges you can't just drive up through the middle like you used to you've you've got to um and i'm assuming that in order to empty the clamp that's what you've got to do you've actually got to scrape right down the sides of the clamp in order to pick the stuff up now we've got a little bit on the outside which i want to see if we can go and pick that up because it is sort of pushed through the wall so we'll put that there we'll head out this side and see about tidying up the cows because zero percent cleanliness it should be a hundred percent on the cleanliness so I would assume that we come out here and we turn this way and there'll be somewhere over here a feeding trough that we can clean at least at least that's my guess or maybe there is maybe it's inside it was doing in the right place We've got a bit of manure there now. Let's go just take a look. I'll press F1. So the slurry fill is at 5,000 litres. That's still at 0%. And this one? That doesn't actually say. I wonder if it will say in the... Does it say any information here? Manure. Oh, yeah. 4,500. So we've got some of that. 
The cows is 136 hours before we get a new one. Pigs, though, they were gonna, we now got 10. In another two hours, we'll get another one to take it to 11. I'm not sure how much they sell for. That's the next thing we want to find out. Um, we can do that. Clean, right, so we need to find the cleanliness. That's the next bit. Honk. All we oh, all wheel steering. Left control Y. Just as front wheel steering. It's for when you're driving on the road. Um, I used to be told that you had to legally change it to. Oh, and we got crabbing. I didn't realise you could crab this one. That might actually be useful when you, we're cleaning the. Um, when, when we're cleaning out the um, the clamp, when we want to scrape down through. So the, the trough down this end is where we've got to clean this up. It's, it's, it is handy that we can feed up in the other end. Actually, I want to... It would help if I put that down towards the ground, wouldn't it? Let me change that. Lift it slightly and lower that way. Now let's try it. That's better. That's scraping it up. Sort of. Right, we've picked up 240 litres there. Back through. And I want to do that once more. And if I go up again, I go up a little bit... Oh, no, I don't want to tip it out. It's a problem. It, it seems to... It's, it's very picky. Let's try it like that. Actually, if we try it like that, I can sort of see what I'm doing with the bucket. I don't want to tilt it too much because it seems to dislike me doing that. Along there. I still missed a little tiny bit back there. There's still a little bit. I don't know if we can actually pick that up. It's, it's whether you can get the bucket to scrape the ground enough. And if I tilt it over too much, it's going to tip it out of the bucket again, which we don't want to do that either. No, it's not picking that up. Oh, it seems, yes, it's just picked it up. There's only a little tiny bit, but it made all the difference. Okay, let's put that into the trough at this end. So they should be 100% clean now. If I go and get one more lot, there, we tip that back in there. If I get one more lot of silage from clamp, that should, by the time we get over there and tip it in, have changed the numbers. Because I think it's every... Well, it used to be about every 20 minutes, didn't it? When On FS15, when you made a change to the animals, it would take about 20 minutes to update. I think it was like um, 12 o'clock and then 20 past and 22 that it would update each time. So I don't know what it does on this one. Oh, I know what we wanted to do. We wanted to look outside to see if that would make a difference. So let's just pick up this bit of silage here. There we go. See, 1857. It's stopped exactly 1857 every time. So I'm assuming that it kind of thinks that that's 100% and it's not going to let us take any more than that. We'll back out here and we can go into the animal house from this end. I turn here and I can drive in that end and then once we've tipped that we'll go up the outside of the clamp because there was a little bit of green chaff that had uh, like pushed through the wall and I'm hoping that we can... I don't know what... We're doing that thing where we launch ourselves off again. I don't know if we can pick that up or not, but we'll find out in a minute. Because I know a few people have mentioned this pile of green on the outside, which is affecting how their game is... or affecting like how the clamp is reacting to different situations. Uh, let's just have a look. Cleanliness is still on 0% at the moment, so we've got to wait a bit longer for it to update. That one's updated, but the percentages we need to see... So that's on 65, and that's on 0. So if we just let it... We'll have to leave it for a little bit more. We'll come around here, and we've got... There's a bit of green down here. Now, is this going to let us pick up silage? Or is it going to say that we're picking up chaff? This is an interesting thing to find out. Because people have mentioned this before. Oh, that's chaff. That there is chaff. And you can't actually do anything with that apart from tip it into the silage clamp. You can't feed it... To, I don't think you can feed it... We got a little bit of grass at the end there... That was that 5 litres that caused us all that hassle the first time round. And then we got a bit more chaff over here, so we'll try and pick this bit up. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to crab steer for this. Left control, and that way. So if I do the crab steering that way, and just put the bucket down, is it going to work? Sort of. It's sort of... I'm sort of stuck. I think I need to change it the other way, actually. 
There. Let's try it that way. If I crab out from the wall a minute, come back, and... There we are. That's how we need to do it. We need to sort of crab at that angle, don't we? So that we're driving right into the wall. Right. Let's, um, I just want to tilt that down ever so slightly. And... Crab along the wall like that. It's not letting me pick up. There's a little tiny bit there. Oh, that's why. It's because we're at 99%. The bucket's full. So we'll, we'll crab. This thing's brilliant. I really like this thing. So what can we do with this? Can we tip it in for the cows or can we only tip it in for the silage? If we can only tip it in for silage, we're going to need to do something with this bucket full. Um, we might actually just have to store it somewhere so that the next time we make silage here, or if we decide to go and make it over at the uh, biogas plant, we've got it there. I don't... Is it going to change it to grass? No, it's not. It just won't come out in here. And it probably won't... <laughs> this crab steering is kind of confusing. Okay, let's turn it off of there. That's regular four-wheel steer. Okay, we'll come out of here. That pile of chaff, I think what I'll do is I will tip it against the outside of the clamp. And we'll leave it there for the next time we make silage. We'll either be making silage here again at some point. Uh, so we've got food for the cattle. Or if you guys decide that you want me to do silage rather than um, the logging to make my um, money, then... We can just pick this up and dump it into the forage wagon and take it that way. Right, let's just see if it's updated yet. Right, that's 100%. Oh, 10%. So we get 10% productivity from... We get 20% of grass, 50% from the base food. Uh, it doesn't say how much straw, you, uh, whether straw gives you anything. Because that's 100% there. All right, it's, it's a little bit confusing with the percentages. It just says what the feed is. So, you do get 10% for the clean, uh, cleanliness. I don't know if you lose it all at once, or if you lose 1% of productivity per 10% of cleanliness. It's something that we can sort of keep an eye on. Um, actually, I won't put any more in just for a minute. What we'll do is we'll head over to the pigs. So we want to take over some canola. We've got some of that. I'll unhitch that tractor. And then we can get over to the pigs with the canola and start that one up. And unhitch the trailer. If I move this one over here out of the way. And we can clean up the pigs. They need to be cleaned. And after they've been cleaned and they've got the extra food in for them. That means that we should. It should. Well it should increase their percentage. Shouldn't it? So at the moment they're on 69% productivity. And they've got 0% cleanliness. So we can put in that. We won't get the 5% for the root crops. But we've got the water, straw, everything else. And the cleanliness at full. We'll see how much of a difference that makes. I've got a feeling that's actually going to take us up near to full because um, it's 20% for protein. The food mixture consists of 20% protein. Is that going to be 20% extra on productivity? So that would take us up to 89 and then that would be another 10%, so 99. And the potatoes are just the extra 1%. It seems a bit of a shame, really, because that's even less of an incentive to use the um to get the root crops i kind of hope that the overall percentage of productivity is affected by at least 10 percent with the root crops i've got a feeling it won't be though we'll soon find out we'll take this over let me just load this up so we want canola from here uh, uh press r for that one so wheat barley canola there we go and that is a protein food, canola, sunflowers, or soybeans. You can use any of them. And the base food, corn. We don't have a massive amount of corn left. Um, and we don't have loads of pigs at the moment. But I would like to sell a couple of pigs soon. I know that it would probably be better if we could allow the numbers of pigs to build up a bit first. But I'm actually thinking if we was to sell just one or two. Um, well, mainly because it would give us sort of an insight into what we can expect from them in the future. Um... It's actually, this thing is kind of nippy, actually. I'm a bit concerned that I'm going to drive off the edge of something with the four-wheel steering. So let me just change that to just front wheel only. It'll be a bit more controlled going around the corners. Now, I'm going to drive up to the pigs, and we'll see what we can do up there. So this front loader is a surprisingly powerful little machine. Um, we've sort of driven up here in no time at all it doesn't seem to struggle all that much I, mean, I know that we've got only five tons in here and 
it is I would not say that it is unrealistic to um, expect a machine like this to pull something like this I used to drive I've driven loadals a lot uh, telescopic handlers and I've got to be honest with you I have pulled all sorts of trailers with them um, straw trailers in particular I used to take you take the trailer into the field and then load up and um, then go back and hitch it up and you'd tow the trailer out using the telescopic handler and it, it did quite well it wasn't very good at going downhill because it had no engine brake on it to speak of and it got quite dangerous uh, so long as you didn't go downhill everything was good now then to change the direction of tip I need to use U so grain door left side we want to tip so I want to tip it straight into that trough so tip onto the left side there we go I'm, I know I'm tipping onto the floor in front so there's that and I've just scraped up all the corn so if I just pull forward a little bit and then unhitch the trailer there now I'll come back round oh hang on I want to change the steering now so that'll go to the two crabs and that will be the four wheel steering there we go bring that round oh there's a whole load more grain right in front that I missed let's get that as well if I can come up like this now this is going to be a little more tricky I think to get that oh no that was actually it, it worked out alright is there any more? Is that another little tiny bit? No, I don't think it is. There was a little bit right there. Let's just jump out and have a look. No, that's not. That's just a, a bit of stone or something. Let's come into here. Lift up and tip that in. Right, so now that the, the pigs are clean and the cows are clean, um, let's just take a look at the numbers. So, oh, that's 95%. Right, I'm assuming that it's updated all the numbers because of the cleanliness. We got 74% productivity on the cattle, and that's down to 90%. Look, so they do get dirty quite quickly, and they've lost 1% because of the 10% uh, drop there. But now that they're at 95%, in only 40 minutes we're going to have another pig. That's absolutely fantastic. So if we can keep this all nicely topped up for the pigs, the rate of increase of the numbers should increase sort of fairly dramatically, I should think. Um, I'm mean, even considering we could hang around here for the 40 minutes and then we could tip in a little bit extra. We can see sort of how much extra food and stuff they're going to need. Um, over here we've got a tiny little bit there and I want to just drop down here and see what we've got in this one. That is silage fill level of a thousand litres. Well, we've only got a few minutes left so I am actually going to speed up time. I really want to see us get an extra pig and I'm curious about whether or not the extra pig is just going to appear so let's just climb up here so that we can see them there we go I, can we see how many have we got there one two three four five six seven eight i can see nine pigs i can see nine right and climb up here uh three six nine ten i can see ten pigs can we actually observe an extra pig turning up here in a few more minutes i am going to speed up time now just so that we can see if this will actually work um and tomorrow, well, we haven't really got a great deal that we want to do just yet. I want to find out what you guys want me to do for forestry and stuff like that. And I know that the speeding up and slowing down of time is not to everybody's tastes all the time. Um, but occasionally I feel it kind of helps progress the game a little bit. So there, we've sped that up. Now let's take a look and see. Oh, that's saying zero. So I think we've got to wait just for a minute for it to update. So there should be another pig along very shortly. There's one in here. Are you the mystery pig? Are you are you our new resident? One. Let's see if it, it's still not changed. The cleanliness has now gone down to 87, so we've dropped 1%. So the potatoes and sugar beet is 5% off the total up there. Um, and the cattle are about the same. So they're still 1% down. So you do have to monitor the cleanliness very closely. Uh, anyway, my question for this week, do you want me to do a little bit of forestry? And we will keep it simple. Um, the reason for this question is I've had several people ask me not to lease machinery anymore. Could I just buy it? So I'm going to attempt to do that on this map. I won't do it on both. I'm not going to do identical games on Sosnyovka and Goldcrest. So on this map, I will attempt to, from now on, only buy machinery. We've got some that's leased. And I will keep that least, um, at least until I've got a few other bits and pieces that I want to get first. 
So we will do leasing on Goldcrest, but on this one we're going to try and just buy the machinery. So with that in mind, I need to make extra money um, beyond what the animals can give me. So do you want me to do a little bit of forestry using a bought chainsaw and stump grinder? We can do it by hand with the trailer. Or do you want me to do a bit of silage and we'll do it over there with a the biogas plant and we will sell it at the, um, at the plant over there and we use that. We'll trim grass verges in order to get the silage. So it's your vote. It's your game. Head to the comment section down below and let me know which one you would like. Should I do silage or should I do forestry logging? Right, let's just see if it's updated yet. Yes, we have 11 pigs and we get another one in 13 hours. So it's 2 o'clock now which means by tomorrow morning, we'll have 12 pigs here. And now what we want to see is the so cleanliness at 100. Can we put a little bit more canola in there now that those have changed? I also want to see how many how many pigs we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The problem is I can't see where all the pigs are. Is that? That's it is. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We actually had another one turn up. I wonder how many they actually view, because obviously this is the full size of your pig pen, and yeah, there's no there's no reason why you couldn't have a thousand pigs here in the pig pen. It's just that it wouldn't be very realistic to squeeze them all in, but um, there's nowhere else to put them. So if you're going for animals in a big way, like we're going to try and do, um, you're sort of stuck, really. Now, I need to change the tip side on that one, so I'm hoping that's done it correctly. And I want to see... I've got 3972 in there. So tip. 3972. Okay, so it's still saying that 11 pigs eat the same amount as 10 pigs. And we'll drive on back. Um, that is it for today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I haven't actually thought it through because we kind of need to make money. we got no money. Um, I've done the tidying up and stuff with this one. So I'm genuinely at a loss as to what I might do tomorrow. I have a couple of ideas, but they require more machinery. Um, yeah, I, I really don't... I'm not actually quite sure what I'm going to do. I might have to... Um, yeah, I've got a couple of ideas. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. So anyway... Thank you very much for watching, folks. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.